Happy Saturday, everyone. Oh, wait, we're very pink today. Yes, we are. Guess we're matching. Yes, we are. <laughs> so today we're gonna, it's, um, we've like renamed our Saturdays to Bolo Saturdays. Bolo Saturday. So what does Bolo mean, Michelle? Be on the lookout. Yeah, so like if you follow resellers, you're gonna see that. Um, uh, good morning, happy Saturday. Perfectly, Perfectly posh, posh, 916. Where are you uh, coming from? We're in Southern California. Good morning, never done thrifting. Where are you from? Where are you, where are you guys coming from? It's 11 a.m. in our neck of the woods here in Southern California. We're on late today. We're supposed to be on at 10.30. It's 11. But there are replays, right? So you can watch the replays. Um, where did I leave off? It's Saturday. No. Oh. <laughs> She's clearly not listening to me, which is fine. But we are here to talk about bolos. So every Saturday, right, once a week, we're going to be talking about brands that are bolo, right? So if you follow resellers, you're going to see a lot of resellers say bolo, 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 right? So every you know season has its own bolo. Some some bolos are timeless. So when you see B O L O, you can check out the hashtag B O L O. It means be on the lookout. So that means when you are thrifting, when you are shopping, when you're sourcing, if you find any of these items, keep your eye on it, grab it because you're going to make a really good amount of profit. So never done thrifting said um, that she is from New York. So 11, 12, 1, 2, it's 2 p.m. over there. Good afternoon. Uh, she said I went thrifting on Wednesday in Connecticut because they opened back up. She's like got big smiles on her face. Finally. <laughs> did so, you get anything good? How was, uh, how was that experience? Yeah. How did that go? We have yet to go thrifting. We still actually have a lot of inventory from last month when we were sourcing that we need to tackle. Um, but yeah, we definitely cannot wait for that to happen. So super excited for you. Uh, never done thrifting. Awesome. She said she found a few good things. Awesome. Yay. Yay. All right. Time to get those things listed, right? So we'll be doing that later today. Yes. On Saturdays, we take pictures, we, um, upload items and we list, we list them, right? So, um, all right. So let's talk about when our category Bolo today is going to be mugs. Um, and in particular, you know, the ones that get a lot of money for the most part are going to be the vintage mugs and these will never change. So you can find these throughout the year. And so, um, never done thrifting said she's working on that now, right on way to go hustler. And, um, and so, yeah, we're going to work on that after the live too. So, um, we're kind of all on the same page, right? Do you do reselling full time? Or are you part-time like us? Now, um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to use the question mark sticker so it can be displayed for everyone to see. Um, especially for the IGTV. Actually, I haven't noticed. Does that sticker pop up on the IGTV? I feel like it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, right? Okay, cool. So, um, part-time. Part-time, right on. So, Never Done Thrifting is a part-time reseller just like us. So, we have a question for you. Have you sold any Bolo, Bolo mugs, mugs ever before? Have we sold any Bolo mugs? No, we have not, but we've sold some high-end plates yeah, from no, Tiffany. But we also sold, we actually did sell some Bolo mugs because as you're going to see in a minute, Disneyland, Starbucks oh, mugs yeah, we did. are considered Bolo mugs. So we've sold quite a few. Those like ran out like hotcakes. Yes. Yeah. Um, never done thrifting says not that I know of other than Ray, Ray Dunn. Dunn. Yeah. And actually, actually speaking of Ray Dunn, who, which is like a ceramic pottery, um, company, if you find some of the very first, and you may already know this never done thrifting, but if you find some of the very first ones that came out, those go in the thousands or they can easily go in the thousands. So definitely those would be bold. The older, the better. Yeah. Good the older, morning. The Trish Van 99. Happy Saturday. All right, so the number one bolo mug that we're gonna talk about uh, never never did thrifty said M stamps are gold. What does that mean? M stamps are gold. I feel like you're talking about the Ray Dunn ceramics, right? Can you expand on that a little more? We we want to talk about the number one 
bolo mug that if you find out there is the John Wayne mugs. Um, yeah, so John Wayne mugs. I guess Ketchum is like the makers of the mugs. Good morning, Caleb Long, 87. Happy Saturday. Um, these mugs are from an, uh, John Wayne. Wasn't he a famous actor? Mm -hmm. And he made movies, right? And mm -hmm. so he used to have these special mugs made for all of the cast and crew. And every single mug was unique, right? So if you find these mugs and look at the picture, they look mostly like the one on the right hand side of the picture there. So they're going to be like these big clunky, um, like a coffee mug with a painted gold handle on them. Good morning, Lynn's Closet LLC. How you doing this morning? And Never Done Thrifting said, yes, it has an M stamp on the bottom. Those are by Magenta. For Ray Dunn. For Ray Dunn. Yeah. Good to know. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for the tip. We didn't know that. They're older collection, she said. Okay, cool. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, we weren't going to put Ray Dunn on this, but we ran out of time. <laughs> or we would have included it. But honestly, there's many. Um, so this is definitely a short list. So John Wayne makes mugs for his crew? Made. Oh, I mean, he made, made mugs yeah. for his crew. And yeah. they're all different. They're all different. And that's why these are very v valuable. Exactly. And they're, cool. if you guys can like Google it, it's so cool. Um, so as the cast and crew pass away, you know, these items go on sale and... Um, and they're worth in the thousands. As you can see, one that sold within the last three months there, it's the one on the left side for $3,500 on eBay. Now, the one on the left looks a little different, but it's, it's not. It's actually exactly like the one on the right. The only difference is the handle is um, it's not, not gold. gold. Yeah, which if you look into the history, there was like a couple that were made like that. Um, really, really interesting, actually. All right, so then the second one is... It's like the most popular thing that we see every day, and yet it's valuable. Starbucks. Um, yeah, like exactly. my mug that I have that I love drinking out of right here, Starbucks So mug. a lot of people collect Starbucks mugs, and I think you have a friend who does that. And apparently they are worth money because I guess they come up with a series and then that's it, right? <laughs> my sister also collects Starbucks oh, yeah. mugs. Yeah. So like even the one on the right here that you see Los Cabos from Mexico what sold for a lot of money and uh, these are like the very first mugs that came out corfu on the left is a from greece it sold from for three thousand dollars and 120 and that was just a few days ago so these are definitely bolo right now so um if you guys can source starbucks mugs even if you were to pay a hundred dollars for this it would be worth it because you're making thousands yeah didn't we buy an old one like that from singapore and then we sold it last year yeah but we didn't That's a newer series we let it go that was for 97 that's Still funny. vintage though, actually. Actually, all of these are from the 90s. They all started in the 90s. Yeah. yeah, we sold it for cheap. Yeah, we sold it for cheap. We probably should have hung on to that. Um, have you guys ever sold this Bolo brand from Starbucks? All right. So the next one is also Starbucks, but keep in mind this is Starbucks and Disney. You can't buy these at a Starbucks store. You have to go to Disneyland, Disney World all the Disney places yeah. to get it. So this is so cool because like, um, well obviously like there's a, like a lot of Starbucks fans. We, when we're not on lockdown or there's no pandemic, like we literally have Starbucks every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, we, and we got a bunch of these at Disneyland. We did, we bought a few of them at Disney. We, we should have always bought more. We always say that, right? We, we regret it. We sold everything. They sold like hotcakes. So you can buy like the regular mug and then the little ornaments really, really sell as well. Mm -hmm. And especially Disney fans are willing to pay up a lot of money because they're just diehard fans yeah. of Disney. Yeah, Disney and fans. a lot of people don't have access to Disneyland. They live like maybe in the you know in areas where Disney's super far. So these are definitely hot items. I mean, that's also the case with the other mugs too, though. That's like right. that's why they're you yeah because they have a collectible series. Like I love my Parisian. This is from when we went to Paris a couple years ago. It's a Starbucks mug. Look, it has like the Notre Dame right there, which remember it burnt down, oh, yeah. right? So maybe in 20 years, this is going to be worth money. Who knows? Anyway, Starbucks mug. Cool. And this is something interesting. So there's an artist, uh, his name is Jim Rump, and he is actually from uh, Missouri, and then, but then he uh, 
started making pottery and ceramics and here in LA. Um, unfortunately, he was he passed away uh, when he was 51 and he got hit by a, a car when he was riding a bicycle. Um, but his design, his ceramic designs are so crazy creative. He is really famous for creating creatures um, in a mug. And if you find any of these, they're worth money. They run about like $500 for each mug. Yeah. And he passed away and there's like websites where you'll see all of these. It's really artwork. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you were buying this to drink the coffee every day, <laughs> but it's definitely collectible. And look how just gorgeous that artwork is. Good morning, Nico Exchange. Happy Saturday. We do have a question. And so the question is, can you pin the topic so I know the theme, please? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so our topic today is Bolo. So every Saturday, we're going to be doing Bolo Brands. Or what is it? Bolo. Bolo Saturday. Bolo Saturday. Vintage mugs. And today's theme is mugs. Yes. And it's not a surprise that most of the Bolo, uh, what is it? Bolo mugs are going to be vintage. It's really not, not all of them, but most of them. So let's go ahead and pin that. That was a good request. Thank you so much, Eco Exchange. So those joining the live can see it. Awesome, great. All right, we'll go to the next one now. Tiki mugs, right? There's a couple of popular companies. One is Trader Vic's, one's Van Tiki. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but like they, look at that. Um, recently one sold for $415. So they sell in the hundreds. They're kind of similar to the artists that we mentioned, you know, Jim Rumpf a few seconds ago, and that they're very unique. And the, um, you know, these companies have been around for a while, so their brand, they have brand value. I also wanted to talk about uh, number six, uh, item six here is Rare uh, Fire uh, King. King Jadeite uh, Mugs, right? Are you guys familiar with them? I Like that color, I don't know why, it's like so soothing. Thank you guys for the love. We see you hitting those like buttons. Wait, $2,000 for that mug? Um, why? Yeah, it's, well, it's rare. Now this company that makes these mugs is still around now and they make replicas, so be careful on that. This mug here happened to have the original sticker. Um, I believe they started in the 1940s, it's glassware, and they were just super popular for about 20 to 30 years back in the mid uh, century. Yeah, of the uh, the two, 20th uh, mid-century. So I mean, they're so cool. I wouldn't mind having those in our home. They're but cool looking. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't pay $2,000 for it, but they're really cool looking. I mean, if I had a lot of money on my hands, I would totally pay $2,000 for that. I mean, who knows when that's going to be, but they're, I mean, I, I want to eat it. It looks like mint. I don't know. It's just that color is so, I love it. I love this color. But yes, look for that brand, Fire King. And again, these are called Jade Eye uh, Mugs. This is a child's mug here that sold for over two thousand dollars now never done thrifting says i wouldn't drink out of it if it was worth two thousand dollars <laughs> how like you know how much money would you have to have to be like yeah we drink out of two thousand dollar mugs no big deal mm, <laughs> you'd no. have to be a big time baller right no <laughs> um so the next one is you know when especially estate sales and thrift stores if you see any high-end brands like gucci Tiffany, Christian Dior, actually all of those brands used to make um, uh, China wear. And so in this case, this is a Gucci um, mug at $400. We actually got lucky. We uh, went to an estate sale and we found these plates that are made by Tiffany and company. And I'm sure all of you know Tiffany and company. And the logo was actually the old logo. So we sold that for a couple hundred dollars yeah and so. we and we bought it for much less than that yeah so be on the lookout for name brands big name brands those will sell for good good money and finally this brand here is not vintage but um i don't know if you guys have heard of it especially those of you uh who are from new york it's called death wish uh coffee um supposedly they make the strongest coffee out there they do organic coffees but they also have like limited edition mug series and this one was sold for over $2,000. They only made uh, 30 of them, and it's like a collaboration between NASA. Um, NASA, I think it is, 
and yeah, and um, and the coffee company. So, I mean, when I was researching these mugs, there are other mugs that sell for like a hundred dollars, depending on the theme of the mug. And again, this company began in 2012, so they're not vintage, but I guess they're like a trendy uh, coffee company. So, have any of you guys heard of them? They're called Death Wish Coffee, and they are based out of New York. Cool. I wonder where yeah. they're located. Like, never done thrifting said, um, I've never heard of it, but I will definitely keep my eyes open. Thank you. You're welcome. And maybe since you're in New York, you could kind of start collecting them. Good and point. Yeah. Sell them later. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, Emma Thrifts. How you doing this Saturday? Happy Saturday. I know, right? So like, I mean, like when we travel, you know, before COVID or whatever, we love traveling and wherever we would go, we would pick up Starbucks mugs. Yeah. And honestly, those are the kind of things that you're like, eh, you take it for granted when you're there. Yeah. But pick up a few and, you know, they're worth, they're really worth it. And money. also, like, we're close to Disneyland, so and we go to Disneyland quite a bit. Um, so we have that advantage, too, is, you know, wherever you're located, look for something that's rare that's not available across the other part of the state and country. And, um, you know, collect those and sell those. Yeah. Good tips. And last but not least, tonight is going to be Saturday night, and it's going to be party time. So. <laughs> so we have another live today at 4 p.m. PST. You want to talk about it? Yeah, so we're going to be interviewing a couple that only began reselling about eight months ago, and they've already made $30,000 in profit. Their goal was to become debt-free, and they're going to make that happen. Um, they're thinking probably by end of this month in May. So if you guys are not busy, please come join us live. Come with questions. 4 p.m. YouTube Flipping Gals. Um, if you're busy, you know, catch a replay. Um, but on this meme that the listeners can't see, there's two cats with their mouths open going crazy on the bed and they're going to start partying tonight. And that's <laughs> going to be us when we're done working today. So uh, go get them, guys. Thanks for joining. We will be back tomorrow, Sunday, with, um, what do we do Sunday? Sunday, we're doing sourcing videos. Sourcing we're, videos. We're, we're going to look at what we found. All right, so thanks again. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.